Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Benihin speaks on what God plans to do in Nigeria in two years. Pastor Benihin recently spoke at a Christian event tagged the Experience Conference at the Maker's House Chapel International in Accra, Ghana. During the conference, the famous Christian leader highlighted some powerful forces in Nigeria as evil and also declared Ghana a Christian nation. He further noted that evil powers in Nigeria will be broken as declared by God, adding that in two years, God is set to destroy the purpose of evil in Nigeria. He continued, leading attendees in prayer. The father said, I declare Ghana to be a Christian nation and remain a Christian nation. No foreign demon or spirit will ever have dominion over the government of Ghana. So guys, uh, that is what a uh, uh, Benihin are uh, talking about here. And, you know, you can see the video uh, when he said it. Then we would like to take our uh, reactions of some Nigerians, what they are talking about. Some people believe, some people do not believe, some people are for and some people are against. We will come back and... Tell you what Nigerians are talking about before we hear from you as well. The Lord declares the evil powers in Nigeria will be broken. I see two years. I see two years before that power begins to shatter in Nigeria will begin to defeat the purpose of Islam in Nigeria. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ban Pastor Benny Hinn from entering Ghana again. He preaches hate and his message is extremist and divisive. This man on Ghanaian soil mentioned Islam by name and classified the Muslim leadership in Nigeria as evil powers. We can't tolerate this. I declare Ghana to be a Christian nation and remain a Christian nation foreign demon and foreign spirit will ever have dominion over the government of Ghana. And I tell you now, Satan, you will never have Ghana. You will never have the people of Ghana. You will never have the future of Ghana. It belongs to Jesus. In what capacity does he declare Ghana a Christian nation? Isn't that an affront to our constitution? In future, let's invite preachers whose messages unite and not those whose messages. So just like uh, what Benin said, that uh, evil uh, leaders, evil people are in a uh, position of authority in Nigeria, that in two years' time, that God is going to expose them and uh, he's going to make things work out and and destroy the power of a and the purpose of evil in Nigeria. Um, some people, like I said, some people are for and some people are against. Someone says, I would like to quote what late Pa Elton, a missionary from the UK to Nigeria of blessed memory, uh, prophesied before he died in 1986. He said that there would come a time when Nigeria and Nigerians would stink and would be known around the world for corruption, but there will be an outpour of the Spirit of God in Nigeria and nations. Nations will cling to a Nigerian to Nigeria and said, Come, let's go to Nigeria and learn righteousness. Please let us not lose hope in Nigeria. On Nigeria, God will fight for us, if not for anything, he, for his name's sake. And a lot of people reply and said, Amen. 
according to what that uh, particular person responded and saying amen and amen some say so shall it be and someone say uh, only a fool will say in his heart that there is no god uh, like i told you a lot of people are aligning what aligning with what uh, benny he said that still hoping like he said that god told him that in two years time that god would destroy the purpose of evil in nigeria and that uh, some evil people are you know are the ones in the uh, uh, um, affair, or affair of the nation they are the one in control so and some people said okay if it is two years there's no no problem we're gonna wait and see what god is gonna do and some people are like let's continue to trust god let's continue to hope hope on him that things will change for the better since a powerful forces in nigeria you know as evil as, as evil and also declare ghana a christian nation and someone say in africa when god speaking the truth through the men of god we should listen benny Hinn has spoken if you like take it or leave it so nigerians we always believe we're always hoping that things will get better which is a good uh it's a good thing someone say benny 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 what come 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 man this particular person is not agreeing with what he's saying Someone say, Amen. May God deliver Nigeria. Of course, a lot of people are like, you know, there's nothing you want to do again. A lot of people have done their part. They've been able to uh, made mention of things that are going on wrong, said it to the government, and nothing is happening. They're just like, okay, let's leave everything to God. And for the fact that the man of God is coming to buttress what they've been believing, and they are just hoping that, okay, this is going to be two years. Let's see what happens. Some are not of that opinion. Someone say, so be it. Amen in Jesus' name. Someone say, Amen. God will deliver Nigeria from the hands of evil people in Jesus' name. Someone say, God's words are exact. You can't change it. Only prepare your heart. Indeed, a blind man cannot lead a blind man. Both will fall. Even their language says, Who they are. Long live T.B. Joshua, the true servant of Jesus Christ, who will never condemn nor insult anyone. Benihim must return all what he got from the people. Benihim, if you are a man of God, can you tell me what would happen tomorrow? What did he get from you? Maybe you are one of the devils that God will soon destroy in this world. Uh, someone says, just ask yourself this simple question. How many Muslim country, countries are borrowing refugees in the world? It is not Christian country. All these Muslim refugees caused by their terrorist brothers running to now which religion do you prefer the religion that uses that sees you as a human being and take you above you in regardless of your religion or the religion that if you are not uh, his religion either force you to become his muslims or kill you which one do you prefer i always tell you muslim is just a religion that devil has brought to cause havoc in the world i pity the followers such a deadly uh, uh and useless uh, useless religion is what is what you wait and see but embrace christ you know everybody like i said everybody you know see things differently see things in their own way and they are entitled to their opinion and that's why you know we try to hear other people and you know maybe their opinion or what they think is really quite different from what you are saying because at times when somebody is making uh, some point or making their opinions known you just have to listen you may be able to pick one or two things it might not really be all bad, bad all the time. And it might, it might not really be good, good all the time. So you just have to pick and discard the ones that you know that is not really good for you. It's not everybody's opinion that you take to heart. There are some that you take, there are some that you just filter through and just take the one that you know is okay. The one that you know that, oh no, this one is not, is not for me. You just discard it. Someone says, Amen, servants of the Most High God, that the kingdom of darkness must be destroyed to facilitate the coming of the kingdom of God here on earth. Some, someone should ask Tab Biafra, God confirm your word quickly. Benny Hinn is a devil worshipper and an agent of Satan who disguised as a pastor to destabilize Africa. Uh, someone say, Amen. God, please make his do it and take your glory. Amen to that. May your name alone be glorified. This is, this almost a good, it's a good one. Let these evil people stop calling others evil. They sell arms to criminals. They sponsor... They sponsor militants, rebels. They are found 
of killing, they are fond of killing and removing legitimate governments in Libya, Iraq, Afghanistan, and failed in East Syria. They produce and store weapons of mass destruction. They divide and dictate to nations. Where is democracy? Someone say business of the days. Thank you, Pastor Benihi. You have spoken well concerning the plan of God for Nigeria, and that plan is about to begin. Someone say all we want is Biafra, no Nigeria. You know about Nigeria, but how about life that you have? Who now where the power? Who know where the power you have come from? Keep it to yourself. You are not God. That's what somebody is saying. Like I told you, everybody with their with their different opinions and all of that. But the bottom line is that he's saying the uh, the power occupying Nigeria, that evil evil forces, evil power are holding Nigeria bound. And very soon, God will really expose them and destroy and the purpose of evil in Nigeria. Um, I said that evil powers in Nigeria will be broken. So guys, uh, let's have your take concerning what Benihi has said. Thank you very much. Bye.